Okay, so it's 18 months since I hotwired a car, stole my mum's credit card, and had hot lesbian sex with my best friend, Sugar. And things are going great. Really great. Yeah, right. Life is back to normal. Nothing's changed. Well, my toothbrush seemed better days. Tim? Sorry to interrupt, darling. I was just wondering if you had any spare batteries that you weren't using. Not to worry, I'll nip into town. Can I get you anything? Diva magazine? KY? At least I wasn't the only one who was sexually frustrated. Stella was embracing a whole new concept. Ooh, don't pull anything. Monogamy. She was back with Nathan. Oh, nice eyeliner, Matt. That's cool. Die. Dick. Twat twiddler. I'm going out. Out? See your friend? Girlfriend? A mate. Um, so when you say a mate, you mean not in the reproductive sense? I mean, obviously not in the... because that would be impossible. Uh, so are you going anywhere special? Prison. We were one big happy family. It was Sugar who got the shitty end of the stick. Thanks to the fact that she had previous and called the judge a shit for brains wanker with a microscopic dick. Still, at least she had me, her loyal friend, to visit her every week. Fuck her, fat face bitch. She hasn't visited me in months, and every time I ring, this phone's dead. Not that I'm bothered, I just want my iPod back. Oi, Kimmy, are you listening? Of course. What did I just say then? Bitch. Go on. Fuck and twat face. Fat face. I said fuck her, fat face bitch. My mum? But Kimmy's too minge obsessed to give a shit. Oh, shit. What are you doing? The last thing I need in here is another fanny fiddler mooning over me. A fanny fiddler. Mooning. Who was the last person you slept with? You better not be waiting for me. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, I just haven't met anyone I like. Do us all a favour, kids. Get a life. <laughs> OK. When your incarcerated ex starts pitying your love life, I guess it's time to start doing something about it. It's just not that easy finding someone you like who finds you equally attractive. I mean, look at Stella and Nathan. Getting back together for the sake of the kids is all very noble, but Stella was dying for a shag. Hence the therapy. The sex therapy. Good. So how does it feel? Oh, it's, uh, it's good, yeah. Great. Stella, you're rubbing the back of your hand against Nathan's penis. Yes. Yes, I am. BTT. BTT. Boundaries, trust and togetherness. <laughs> no touching beyond the agreed zones. Excellent, Nathan, excellent. So, this week... Kissing. Oh. Where? On the lips. It's a shame it turned out to be all therapy, no sex. But hey, this is Brighton, the 21st century. If a girl can't pull here, then she might as well become a... I got the rub. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you OK? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. You? Yeah. <laughs> That's the tester. Yeah. And I'm going to take the batteries out. Yeah. Oh, it was really nice to bump into you. So, 
walk in there and ask her out. I've noticed you around. I'll be with you in a sec. I find you very attractive. I've noticed you around. Hello again. I find you very attractive. How can I help you? All right, I was just looking. I find you very attractive. Anything? Um. Um. Would you go to bed with me? Like this. One pair of vibrating lovets. One bottle of liquid silk. One wand. One easy pleaser. One vibrating clip pump. Buy two and you get free batteries. Rechargeables, of course. Alternatively, you could just give yourself the night off and get out for a change. Do you know the CC? Sure. It's on the seafront. I'll be there from 10. Say you with Saint. Right. At least I had something to tell Sugar at my next visit. Oh, that was quick. She works in a sex shop for women. All right, spare me the gory details. It's amazing. Oh, so Kizzy's finally gone and done it. No, we haven't actually, you know. What? No. She's asked me out. <laughs> she asked you out? On a date. Oh, on a date? Oh, where are you going? Ten pin bowling? We're going clubbing, actually. The CC. What the hell's that? Never heard of it. I don't care what they say. I'm not about to pay no price. with Saint and half the dykes in Brighton. Okay, so maybe a date had been a slightly over-positive reading of the situation. Still, that's cool. At least it got me out. Hi. Can I get you a drink? No, I'm all right. You look like you could do with one. <laughs> Go on, then. Anna. Kim. Thanks. The champagne menu, please. You know, I haven't seen you around before. I just came back from London. Work stuff. Work. Journalism. Right. I thought I'd notice someone as hot as you. You want the groove, I'ma show you how to move. I'm Mr. DJ, someone you replay. Mr. DJ. Mm. Stella. Mm. Nice and mm. Wait, uh, wait, 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 no, um, uh, are we allowed? Nathan? No, oh, uh, come on, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. What's the point in doing this if we don't stick to the rules? Oh. No, no, come on, BTT. This... It's fun. I'm having 
send some friends back to mine. That's for joining us. I'll just get my coat. How old are you? I think I should take you home. <laughs> Funnily enough, and the tie. No laughing in detention. Anna didn't seem that bothered about the age difference. I'm going to make sure you won't forget your essay next time. It was your idea to go. It was my idea to do something about our non-existent sex life. Honestly, the way that therapist goes on is enough to put anyone off. M S C B L T. B T T. Boundaries, togetherness, and trust. Oh, please, no more therapy speak. I've had it up to here with therapy speak. I don't want therapy. I want sex. Define sex. Naughty, naughty oh. little girls. You <laughs> naughty. No That, Nathan, that's sex. You think life will get easier as you grow up? Um, peas, Matt? But in fact, everything just seems to get more complicated. Peas, Kim? Naughty little... <laughs> Thanks. So, Kimmy, got anything fun planned for tomorrow? Oh, my God, Shiggs, it was amazing. I never thought I'd be into that kind of stuff. Being spanked. Disciplined. If Stella and Nathan hadn't walked in... They I... saw her doing that to you? Nathan tried to throw her out. It was so embarrassing. He overreacted. What did you expect? He just walked in on his daughter being taken advantage of by some filthy old perv. She's not a perv. Yeah, right. And she wasn't taking advantage of me. We're both grown-ups. Give or take ten years. Oh, come on, you're not that pissing naive. She's using you. This woman is a bitch. Well, I really like her. Yeah? Yeah, a lot. Well, what happened to that same chick you were banging on about the other day? Well, that didn't turn out to be a date after all. But with Anna, it's different. It's real. <laughs> so what are you saying? She's your girlfriend? Kind of. So you're seeing her again then? Maybe. Ooh. And what's she going to do this time, Kimmy? Give you the cane? Ooh. What is wrong with you? First you say I'm a loser for not having any sex, so then I take your advice, I throw myself out there, and you give me this shit. Are you jealous? <laughs> yeah, right, that's a good one. Of you and your flat fiddlers. <laughs> are you done? Because I've got to go. I'm seeing Anna tonight. Well, you piss off back to her, then. I've got macrame to finish.
like him, darling. Look, it's not your father's fault. There are things that he, he doesn't understand, like passions, desires, needs. Out! But you know, if you ever need to talk to anyone, then I am very open-minded. Now! Whenever you're ready. Today, Dad. I think I might have overreacted a bit. You're my daughter, and a lesbian, and and obviously that means that you like to do things with women. <laughs> oh, hey, come on. Oh, I can't. Uh, the, I've ironed your uniform uh, in case you, you need it for. You know. Didn't expect to see you here today. What? Miss being frisked. So, how's the macrame going? Well, I've mastered the square knot. Great. Yeah, it's fucking fantastic if you like wearing clothes made out of knotted string. <laughs> um, how's Anna? Look, I was out of order the other day, I didn't... She dumped me. Sorry. Yeah, you were right. She was a bitch. Well, we all get things wrong sometimes. I know I've been off with you. Maybe I was a... Jealous. Not because I fancy you, so put your tongue away. But because, well, you've suddenly got this life and you're all I've fucking got. It's not true. No? I've got a postcard from Mum. Moving to Hull with Carl. She probably gave him my piece of iPod. This place gives up. I really hate it. All I'm thinking is when I'm gonna get out. And then it's not gonna be bad. It's gonna be alright. Yeah. 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 Oh god, get me out of here! I need some cock! <laughs> We'd all like someone to pin us to the wall, sweep us off our feet. The 
not given a choice between sex and friendship. Friendship would win hands down. <laughs> You're gonna be fine, okay? I'll make sure of it. Look at me. I'm here for you. I'm always here for you. And no one is ever gonna get in the way of that. Unless you find someone else to spank you in detention, you filthy cow. <laughs> It seems like we can't meet without one of us messing things up. <laughs> no, listen. I'm sorry about Anna. I should have warned you. Oh, you know, I can't help making it out to myself. Me neither. Yeah, right. I tried to pull you and you didn't even notice. Well, I, you know, I didn't realise. <laughs> if I'd known, I'd never have gone off with Psycho Bitch. Well, do you think maybe we could try again and get it right? It's an official invitation. Back next week at five past eleven. My best friend Sugar reckons there's always a way. So maybe that's why I'm trying to pull by pretending my new stalker Hi. is actually my new girlfriend. What could possibly go wrong?